Hello, Herman here with another episode in the ClearPass workshop series where we will build a ClearPass deployment from scratch and integrate with Wired Wireless Active Directory and much more. So in the last video, we ended up with our ADA21X SSID and we found that our iPad could connect to the SSID, but our Windows system, um, it rejected the authentication. And what we can see is that it rejected that because it found an unknown CA. And the problem is that the ClearPass appliance doesn't have the correct uh, certificate installed for Radius. So what we are doing in this episode is we are creating the, the certificate and then uh, we will be getting it from the Active Directory public key server and then installing it to ClearPass. And after that, the client should uh, be able to connect to the network. So. We are talking certificates. If you are thinking certificate, uh, think please the certificates uh, 101 tech node, which is available on the Aruba support site and on Airheads, uh, because that will help you to select the correct certificate. And in most cases, that will mean that for Radius, you will pick a private certificate um, unless you are in an uh, unmanaged environment like uh, Edurome for education and you will use a public certificate for HTTPS uh, that in a later episode. And also, whenever possible, use the same certificates on all your ClearPass appliances. So what we are doing today, we will be uh, generating a ClearPass certificate signing request from the ClearPass appliance. Then we will go to uh, our Microsoft Active Directory certificate services, request the certificate, and then install it on the server and then in the end, uh, we should be able to connect to the client. So back to our server, uh, let's go here into, oh, let's close this one. Let's go into the certificates part for the ClearPass appliance. So what we can see here is that uh, we have indeed a self-signed certificate, which comes in when you install the appliance. Uh, so if you don't install any certificates, you will get the uh, self-signed certificate. And what you can see as well is that we can see for all our services, we have these uh, self-signed certificates. This is also where we can select the radius or the HTTPS certificate. So uh, later we will do the HTTPS certificate. For now, it will be the, um, uh, it will be the radius certificate. So what we are doing now is we will create a certificate signing request. And yeah, this is uh, how you create a certificate signing request. And what I typically do is put in some uh, useful name. So let's call it uh, radius.arubalab.lock. And we need to put in a private key password. That's needed to import the key uh, later on. So let's submit it. It will create a certificate signing request. And uh, this is the CSR, but we uh, should not forget to download also the private key files. So we can do it here. And uh, you must take attention because it is downloading the CSR. And here on the top, it shows uh, that it wants to download multiple files. If you don't see this, uh, you won't have the uh, private key because this is uh, for getting the private key and uh, you can't import the certificate later on. So uh, very important that you get both files. Um, so when you have the files, uh, then uh, we can go to the certificate authority. So I will copy this into my buffer so I can use it later on. So let's go to our domain controller. And if you go to the uh, domain controller or the certificate server uh, slash CRT SRV, you will be placed into uh, the built-in Windows CA. So this must be set up. Um, if it's not set up, you cannot use it, but uh, if it is set up, please uh, use it. So let's log in here. So what we can do here is uh, a few things. First thing that we need to know to do is uh, we need to download the root certificate. So uh, let's get, oh yeah, download the CA certificate. Uh, download the, oh, we need to download it in base 64 because that's better. Cert new one, need to remember that. And uh, now we can install the certificate. So here we go to request a certificate. We don't want to have a user certificate because it's the radio certificate, which is a server 
certificate so we go into the advanced uh, certificate request so I paste the CSR data and we will be now um, requesting a web server certificate so the radius certificate is the same as a web server certificate so we go into submit and here we can download it and uh, yeah typically download it in base 64 so we'll be downloading it and uh, the cert new 2 will be our certificate so let's get back to our ClearPath server, let's try to import for my first node the server certificate radius. So we'll pick the certificate file, which is the cert new 2 in our case. And the private key is the one that was saved here. And let's put in the passphrase that we picked. Um, oh, I think I made a mistake. Let's try again. And what you see now is that it uh, refuses to import the certificate because uh, the ClearPath server doesn't know my root CA. And that's why I downloaded the root CA certificate as well. And we need to import it here into the trust list. So we go into the trust list. We do add here and we can see that our third one, this was the first one. So let's add it. And now you can see the Aruba Lab Workshop CA is imported into uh, my ClearPath server. And now we can try again here, import server certificate. And the certificate two with the private key. And of course, when you are working uh, with these uh, keys and certificates, uh, make sure you rename them so you can find them back later on, uh, because otherwise it will be a big mess. Um, let's see if that's the correct. Yeah, so what you can see now is that for the publisher, we have the radius server certificate set to uh, this one. So let's go to the subscriber. There we need to do the same. So let's pick the certificate, pick the private key file and put in the key that we entered to protect the private key. And in the end, let me see this one. Yeah, you need to uh, install it on all the systems so um, but you can do it from the publisher which is uh, yeah pretty convenient and I think this one was cheated with so yeah so now all my systems have the key so let's go back to my client so here's my client and let's try to connect to the corporate SSID the verifying and connecting and it is connected so something at least worked so let's go into the access tracker and here you can see we have a successful authentication so the successful authentication is based on the computer account for now um, and we will change that in the next video so in the next video we will be doing role-based access and with role-based access we will give network access depending on who is logging into the device. So if it's a user, we'll give user access. If it's an admin, we'll give different administrative active to access to the network. So I hope you like this video. Um, if so, please put your comments below this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So if the next video comes out, you will be notified. Uh, so thanks for watching and see you in the next video.